All right, so I believe it was today or yesterday, recently, Tyler Perry posted about how the family that prays was in the top 10 on Netflix. And I want to say, was it last month or a few weeks ago, Diary of a Mad Black Woman did the same thing where it dropped on Netflix and it was ranked very high within the top five. And yeah, I think uh, same thing with Family That Prays Top Five. And I think it just goes to show that it's just the classic Tyler Perry. The old school Tyler Perry stuff was definitely the best content because there was truly substance to those projects, the writing, the character development, the themes of the uh, movies. And these were the projects that truly made uh, Tyler Perry, you know, movies and whatnot. The plays also like cult classics. These were the bootleg DVDs you would see playing in the barber shops, beauty salons, uh, you know, the older people at church, you know, if you went over to their house or whatever after a service, you would see them playing it on TV as well. And it's just cool to think that in my opinion, I, I said this maybe like 2020, 2021, I said, I don't really think a lot of the Tyler Perry projects of, you know, this time, you know, from like, let's say, um, during his final years on OWN and the BET projects and the movies he put out, I don't think they'll have the longevity of his earlier stuff. Like his early plays, the movies, the OG House of Pain and Meet the Browns, um, haves and have nots i don't think that many of his current projects will have that same amount of you know longevity 15 20 years from now i don't think people will look back on the oval in like 2038 with the you know i don't i don't i honestly don't think so when it comes to his other stuff before the viacom yeah i could definitely see that but that's just my opinion it just shows there's still a market for that Tyler Perry content, the good stuff, because a lot of people say, you know what, I watch these movies I've been watching years, and it's like, now that's when Tyler Perry was really putting his foot in it, you know, in the uh, in the uh, projects, the movies and whatnot, as opposed to the lifelessness of projects that are filmed in like three to five days. But that's just what the public's saying, and the numbers don't lie. So, with that being said, uh, it just really shows you that if he put a lot of his older stuff on these other platforms, including shows, the numbers would go through the roof. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.